Hi guys, uh, this is a new uh, series uh, dealing with SQL. Uh, some people pronounce that SQL. Uh, it doesn't matter how you pronounce it. Important is to know what it stands for. It stands for Structured Query Language. And this is the sort of language you would need to deal with MySQL databases. Uh, sorry, I had just uh, mis misspelled that completely. MySQL. Uh, PostgreSQL databases. Uh, Access. Um, SQL Server from Microsoft and Oracle. So these are some products I know. All of these products are database products and all of these products uh, can be um, um, worked with through SQL. So any if you know SQL, you can work with these products, build databases, uh, build tables, query those tables, etc. And this is what we're going to be doing in this series. We will start building simple queries <clears throat> and expand into more complex and more sophisticated queries uh, with each video. The packages I'm focusing on are MySQL, PostgreSQL, and Access. For a very simple reason, I have all three. These two are free to download, <clears throat> and I bought this one ages ago. These two are obviously not free, and I don't have them, so I can't show you any uh, uh, real code on these. But if you got them at work or privately, you can gladly uh, uh, test uh, the, the SQL there. Most of, the, most, let's say like 90% of the stuff that I show you here will work on these. But uh, these products also have some uh, uh, special features which work only on them. Obviously, I won't be dealing with those features because, like I said, I don't have these products. Now, where do I get PostgreSQL and MySQL? Well, you can, you can get PostgreSQL. Let me just uh, reduce the size of that. So you can get PostgreSQL at postgresql.org. I'm going to put the link in the description below. And uh, then you go to download. And you can download. Now, there are two uh, for Windows. I, I have a Windows uh, uh, um, computer here. You, can, you, you, can, you have that for multiple platforms. But for Windows, uh, I have not used this one, but I've used this one. Big SQL it was simpler to install, and uh, I, I I preferred it. You know, I I I didn't like this this installation at all. And with my SQL, I download. You can download the Community Edition, which is I think down here exactly. And again, I am not sure. Yeah, I think they have it for multiple. Um, they have it for multiple platforms, uh, Linux, Windows, whatever. And you can, and what I did, I, I downloaded most of the stuff here. I, the, uh, important is that you have the workbench, exactly, My, uh, MySQL workbench, and then you can basically uh, fix what you need uh, here, exactly. You can fix your platform, and then you download the installer, and then you can here uh, basically uh, choose the products, uh, or choose the, uh, stuff that you need. I, I basically chose everything. So after installation in uh, Postgres, let me just uh, reduce the size of that. After installing Postgres, you open up a, a, a file or, or a program called pgadmin3 and in it it's like that and what you do here, you double click on this one you would need to input the password. When you install uh, Postgres for the first time, you'd have to input a password. And this password, uh, you'd have to input here when you double click on that. And then you already would have one database here. 
And what you do, you just, just create a new database and put its name, owner, etc. And once you got that, let me just do it. Let's say uh, DB or uh, SQL vids. Okay. Owner with Postgres and okay. And now it creates this database. Okay, there it is. SQL vids. And if I double click that, and then I can go to SQL here. And I can, let me just reduce that as well. And there it is. And here you can basically um, input your uh, SQL code. Okay. And there, and there you can input the code you see in the videos. That's Postgres. There's MySQL Workbench. Once you install MySQL, you start Workbench and you come here into a query and you can immediately start your SQL, the SQL you see in the videos, okay? And uh, if, you, if you got access, there is access and with access, you just go to Query Design. Don't, have, don't include any tables, just close and go into SQL and you can type the SQL we will be handling here. Uh, so that these are the three uh, packages we're gonna be using, either Access or Postgres or uh, MySQL. It doesn't matter which one you have, I will deal with all three. And uh, remember, most of the SQL code that I will be uh, showing will apply to all of them. I will show some specialties which, let's say, only apply to PostgreSQL or MySQL or whatever. Uh, but basically, like I said, like 90% uh, of the code is available uh, or works on all three and should work on also an SQL Server or Oracle. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. And of course, I will be using, uh, in the next video, we'll be creating a table with data and then we start querying this table.